hi welcome to another tutorial session with uh, Emmanuel of Ella Signature Millinery and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this plated cream wind fascinator so pretty so beautiful okay these are the things I'm going to be using for this work um, as you can see them here for embellishment and um, we have my other materials to go with them okay basically I'll be using my um, molded cap and crinoline this crinoline is a pleated 3 inches crinoline pleated alright so that's what I'm going to be using for this project and um, you can use any cap of your choice but I am using this so the first thing to do is for you to tie or secure the mouth of the crinoline in order to avoid fraying okay then, then after you have done that you're going to fold it into two and uh, get ready for sewing now you're going to be using your needle and thread in this tutorial, I use the contrasting tray, color of thread just for you to see everything that is done. But when you're doing your work, please, you're going to use a matching color of thread, okay? So watch me carefully as I sew. Now you have two choices. You can as well sew it down together on fold before you start sewing it down on your cap better still you sew it direct make sure the tip is going inside okay and then you start stitching just wash me carefully and believe the the video is point is that is what I will do from then I'm going to now enter into the second layer
if you watch me carefully you are going to see the way i am sewing you can see that the sewing is a kind of to be so visible on the right side. time you come to the uh, ending you notice that um, if your the molded cap you use had a kind of a pointed end by the time you reach this stage I am now you notice that when you are sewing in that it will be coming up like it will look as if it's standing and to not be overlapping again so at this point you are going to be making your layers almost fall on each other and not having much uh, distance okay so this place you are going to make your layers close together that is what I'll be doing at this point now okay look at it you can see that the two layers are almost at the same place there's no much gap between them can you see that you can see but when I started I there's a little bit gap when I was started, but always make sure that you stitch your or the your, your previous layer is covered by the current layer. That's the the idea. Okay, make sure it is really covered. Just look, watch me carefully. You understand everything I'm doing. here I'm going to stop making my pleats so the next thing I'll be doing is to use my embellishment to cover up the remaining okay I can't go any further than this but if your cap is molded is a with a gentle mold kind of you, you can do more so but that is not a problem because my embellishment will do, will do the rest of the work you can use any form of embellishment so you so desired at this point you can use any type of the embellishment that you want on it you can use another color 
you can use um, any type of embellishment but make sure that whatever you're using is covering up the remaining portion that is not pleated okay But for me, I'm going to be using the remaining of my crinoline. Lest I forget, my crinoline is about 4 yards of crinoline, but it depends on the size of your cap, okay? So that's why I didn't give you any measurements for that because your crinoline depends on the size of your cap. So I'm going to be using the remaining of my crinoline to make my own design. As you can see, before I apply, I now attach my flowers on top. Then finally, I'm going to go ahead and um, do the other necessary things. This is not a beginner's class, so I believe by now you must have known how to put your lining attached to your Alice band or uh, put your rub elastic however you want it. At this point, you can always do that, okay? Alright, I thank you so much for being part of this tutorial. I am so glad to have you here and I hope to see you again in our tutorials. We have some of them on YouTube at Ella Signature Millinery. We are also on Facebook at Ella Signature Millinery, alright? I hope to see you one of these days. I still remain your humble tutor, Emmanuel of Ella Signature Millinery. Bye!